Hello and welcome. In this video series, we are going to learn how to integrate Microsoft Outlook with Oracle Integration Cloud. This is the part one of the video series in which we are having two parts. In part one, we will learn how to register an application in Azure portal where we will provide the postman redirect URL. In this video, we are going to test the Microsoft Outlook send email with postman client. Once we create the application, we will create client credentials and then we will grant API permission that is to access send email and other email related permissions. And finally, we will test the application with the help of postman wherein we will try to send an email from our Outlook account to our Gmail account. In part two video, we will create a connection with the help of OIC Microsoft mail adapter which is available out of the box in our Oracle integration cloud. Also, we will update the redirect URL or we will add a new redirect URL in the application which we created in part one video with the OIC redirect URL. Then we will build an OIC integration which will accept the subject email body and two CC email addresses and we will test the integration where we will send the email message to two user with the help of Oracle integration cloud and Microsoft Outlook. So now let's begin with our part one. The first step here is registration of application in an Azure portal. We have already created a blog on this in our benumlearning.blogspot.com. It is two year old blog which we had written. The steps here mentioned holds true in today's time as well. Only thing is Outlook version 2 APIs are discontinued. Instead, we will make use of graph APIs now. Also, you can have a look at the Microsoft email adapter with Oracle integration documentation page by Oracle. All the things are documented over here as well. The first thing what we need to do is we have to log into our azure.microsoft.com. I am signing into my Azure portal. Once you have logged in or signed in, you have to click on this profile icon over here and click on this Azure portal. So all the steps what I am discussing over here is documented in this blog spot also by Oracle in this Oracle documentation page. I will provide the link for both the pages in my blog. Please check out my blog for more details. So once you are in the Azure portal, we have to search here for app registration. You will get in the recommendation under services. Click on this. So if you don't have any apps registered, click on this register an application. Here we need to provide name. I'm giving this as Outlook application OIC. As I'm going to make use of my personal mail account that is having .outlook.com. So I'm selecting this accounts in any organization directory and personal Microsoft accounts. If you are going with your organization's mail ID or your business related work ID email address, you can opt for this organizational directory multi-tenant. Okay, one or two option for personal. You can go for second and third. Now select a platform. I'm selecting this as web as I'm redirecting the authentication token to my postman client for that what i will do is i will provide postman's redirect url which i have provided here copying this from here and pasting it over here click on register So once your application gets registered you have to make a note of this client id or the application id click on this clip to copy to clipboard and copy and save it somewhere over here next step is creating the credentials go to certifications and secrets here click on this new client secret here i am providing the name as secret for oic here we have to select when this secret will expire i am selecting three months from now click on add close we have to copy the client secret that is under value this is this will be visible only once when you create from next on onwards this will be not available for copying click on copy to clipboard and save it over here done now let me refresh this page and show you as you can see the value or the client secret value will not be available for copying so you should make a note of this value and save it safely somewhere so once done we have to go to api permissions here click on add permission here we have to select the microsoft graph 
select delegated permissions check the email and we have to traverse down to mail over here here we have to select mail read mail read basic mail write permission mail send as we are going to send the email and if time permits we will cover mail read as well click on add permissions yeah we are done with the registering an application in our azure portal so next step is we are sending an email with the help of postman client so let's now test our application i have created the postman request over here as you can see wherein i have provided the graph url over here which is used to send email and i have updated the request body as well but in the authentication this graph related apis you will find in the microsoft documentation page that is over here this is the official microsoft graph rest api documentation page here all the details are provided like what will be the url and the sample is also provided the same thing i have copied from here only updated the cc address and to address and the content type body and the subject same thing you can do as well i have copied same url from here content type i have copied from here and pasted in my postman client now for authentication there is different documentation page on microsoft azure here we have to provide odd to authentication under authorizations that is this one odd 2.0 and token name i have provided postman outlook this is configurable and variable for a use case and the callback url it should match with what we have provided in our azure portal that is you can view it under overview that is over here and click on redirect uris here we have provided postman's callback url I have copied same thing over here and auth url and the access token url these are available in the documentation page over here only thing is i have replaced this tenant with common for more details you can have a look on this table and update so next thing is client id and client secret this we have copied earlier client id i am copying from here and pasting it over here and for secret i'm copying this secret from here and copying here and for the mail scope this is the api permission what we selected mail send mail read if you want we can have multiple scopes as well as of now i'm providing only this much and clicking on get new access token so if you get a prompt to log in just log in into your microsoft account then it will ask you access permission that is consent that that is to access send email scope with the help of which you will be able to send the email messages so for this we are giving s consent it has authentication completed click on proceed and use the token now go over to body and update the message over here content this new criteria is open instead of this this is first email from postman client via microsoft graph api here i am sending first mail from postman this looks fine let me now go to my gmail account and check whether i have any prior emails from my outlook account as you can see i don't have any emails from my outlook account that is bnum.apps at the rate outlook.com so let me go over here and click on this send button i'm getting 202 accepted let me check from here let me refresh the page Yeah, as you could see i have received one email let me click on this the subject is first mail from postman this is the first email from postman client by graph microsoft graph api like this we can make use of microsoft graph rest apis and send email from our postman client so here in the response there is a sample response which is provided by microsoft that is in case of success you will get 202 accepted status for any error you will find the error message accordingly for more details you can have a look at this page Suppose if you are facing any issue with the Microsoft Graph APIs, you can go for the Outlook 2.0 APIs as well, even though they are deprecated, but they are still operational. So you can have a look at that as well. Almost all the things you can do it with the help of Microsoft Graph APIs. So in this video, we have created or registered an application in Azure portal, created client credentials, provided the Postman's redirect URL. We had provided the API permissions for our application to send email 
read email and other stuff related to mail and finally we had tested a postman and confirmed with our gmail account that we have received an email with the help of rest api what we had sent from our postman client in part 2 video we will demonstrate how we can send an email notification from our oracle integration cloud please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video